What up, world? It's your homeboy, Mag 357 Guns. And as you can see, you got Jordan taking the last shot on you right now from my phone. Today's video, just like the title, how to get Air Jordans for the low on eBay. So let's jump over to eBay right quick. Boom. Up at the top up here, by that red dot and the three lines, um, you'll see that it had Jordan in the uh, search bar there. And then you see shot by U.S. shoe size men's. So I'm going to move that all the way over to a size 15. That's the size that is above my shoe size that I'm normally can. You know how you can go 14, 14.5, 14 15? Those are your shoe sizes. You should be able to wear, like if you were wear a size 12, <clears throat> you can. You should be able to wear a 11.5 or an 11. Or you should be able to wear, you see what I'm saying, a 12.5 or a 13. You see what I'm saying? And you decide whether you need to go up in size or down in size. Or tr stay true to size, which is just 12. So, for me... I can wear a 14, 14.5, and a 15. Um, 16 is out of my range. I have to put something in the shoe, and the shoe is just way too long, or just it just looks too damn big. So I would I have sold that to other people via eBay. So here we go. You got it searched. You got it uh, shoe size picked out. Now you're gonna hit the sort button, lowest price plus shipping. And then remember, we're in a size 15. Now see, look, first off the top, Nike Air Jordan 3 retro size 9. So know that it's not a size 15. You keep on going. <clears throat> These are receipts and bullshit. Uh, retro cards, lanyards, shit like that. And then. Bruh, what the fuck? Oh my god. Look at these. Fa See, that's what you need to know. Look at this 2019 Men Jordan basketball shoes. Can you tell me what's wrong with these? I don't even know why I clicked on these. Can you tell me what's wrong with these? Boy, when that Jordans, when does the Nike sign not only swoosh back and wave it, it, it? No, China, Russia, whoever doing this. You got you got people trying to pay six fifty for these fake ass J's. That's the first I've ever seen that they be so blatantly fake. Now, <clears throat> here you go. This is your first shoe. It's a size 7, so we're going to back out. We keep on looking for 15s right now. We seen a fake in the mix. That's the first time I've ever seen that. So, since I cannot find it that way, here's a secret. Okay, this is what you're going to have to learn. So, you might have to put size 15. And you got to go back to sort. And make sure. So now the 15s are showing up. You got a trainer up there. We don't do trainers. Um, here's a Jordan 22. It needs an insole. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, it does have a little scratch right here on the toe box. This stuff can be fixed. Um, the stains can come out, and overall, I'm looking for holes and deep, deep, you know, I can find insoles, that's not a problem. Nobody looks at the inside of your shoe anyway. Um, 
there's a key ingredient <laughs> that you need to find out about fake shoes. Fake shoes are going to look fake. Sometimes you got to take your time when you're jumping into this sneaker thing or just buying a sneaker, period, off of eBay. You got to know what you're getting. You got to know what to look for. I've already talked to this guy right here. I'm already watching these, and I'm thinking about copping those or bidding on them and getting them for a, a pretty low price. If you have watched any of my videos in the past, my eBay pickups for the last two months, I have over 26 pairs of Jordans. I'm, I'm working toward 30-something right now. <clears throat> or 30-something shoes, but I got like 26. I want 30-something Jordans. Okay? So, at the end of the day, we're going to keep on going. They got some slides. See, stuff like this, this, this Jordan, Air Jordan B True, I have the, the white and red pair, and I have the uh, Concord pair. So, this pair I don't need. Plus, they kind of beat to the street too much. This guy with these uh, Spizikes, we're just going to keep going. All right, so now I want to show you uh, the size 14. I'm going to sort it out, lowest price plus shipping. And look what we have here. The Air Jordan Son of Mars. I like stuff like this. And... As soon as I pay for my um, two shoes, it's already in the cart. Friday, I might look into seeing how much money I have left. And if I have enough money left, I might bid on the next two shoes for the next five days. <clears throat> Which would probably be this pair and the other pair we just seen, that white pair. And I have, I have some grills. Like this right here started off as 99 cents. You see it's up to thirteen fifty right now. So overall, if you were to win that bid right there, you'd be paying twenty five fifty plus a little bit of tax. So I'd say about thirty, thirty one dollars, somewhere in there. But it has three days left in twenty hours. So that price is gonna go up most likely. Then you got like a a, a Jordan 2. It's an NU. I don't understand what that stands for, but I know it stands for something. It could stand for new used or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a, it's a special Jordan 2. It's not really... May like a full Jordan 2 should be, but I'm not going to worry about that. <clears throat> this is a new one. Air Jordan mid, red and blue. Hold on a second. It's got those Spider-Man colorway. See, all right now. So we got here. Here's what you need to see. Okay. Make a long story short. You see the Jordan jump man up there. It's always going to be two letters to the right. The two letters can um, be different, but that's got to be there. And then you see US 14 or whatever size is your size. You see the dates that it was manufactured, which is 11, 14, 12. <clears throat> this number right here in the middle, that's where you search this in Google to see if you got a real shoe and, and to compare your notes with what the actual shoe and with the inner, yeah. This is what you do. This is what you do. You must have this tag. If it's that tag there, it's already stamped and showing you that it's a, it's it's a, it's official like a whistle. It's ready to go. What do you want to do? So with that being said, I have Jordan ones in my collection. Let me let me just look at it real good. You see this toe right here, where where it's like it's bit off the white a little bit. If it's not, it's like a little scuff that can come out.
Which I think that that's just the scuff that can come out. But as far as the wings being on it, I want to know what the back look like, though. And there's no picture of it, really. No, it's not. But I know the jump man is supposed to be on the back, so. Real talk, I like these, though. Red, white, and blue. Captain America. You can go Spider-Man with it, however you want to do it. But either way it go, this one would be $29.35 plus tax, it'll be like 30 something. But see, it's got making offer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch. And I, I'm gonna let that ride for some days. And I'm gonna watch those right there. Which I see nobody with them. Those that's that's cool. I got some stuff that uh could go with that. So we got another Jordan Spizike right here. It's twenty nine. And it starts to get up there in price. There's no real um you know, there's nothing to grab really, really cheap right now in my size. So we're going to hop over to the cart, let you see what's in the cart. So in the cart, <clears throat> I got the Nike Air Jordan 11 Low IE. So two of those shoes is $59.35, $29 shipping. See the tax? Add a couple of dollars for tax, some cents for tax. But these are the Air Jordan 1 2005 Holidays. And they give you the number right there. And I looked the number up. They are what they are. To the T. Take a look at them. Any stains you see can come out. And when I get them here, I'm going to do a video on them, like always. <clears throat> so I'm going to pay for these Friday. And when I get them, that's going to be what it is. And I'm going to show you one more thing. Let's, let's exit the cart. Let's go over here to purchases. Let you see something. So, of course, I got to pay now on those. Here's some I had delivered. Okay. Alright, so these are the size 12 old schools for a client of mine. I got these for 11, oh, $12. $12. Because you're going to pay for the auction, however much you win in the auction, and your shipping. Sometimes you can look and get free shipping. That's cool too. You really want those. Because you're going to pay just the price that you bid on. Plus the tax. It's not going to be high at all. Um, I got the yellowing out at the bottom. Of the sneakers. See how it's yellow down there. I got that back white. I glued the toe caps back down. If you can look real closely. The toe cap had a little separation. I glued that back down. Change the uh, laces back out to white. Uh, let's see if I got a picture of it. <clears throat> let's see. I might have a picture of it. Or I think I may have deleted it. But either way it go, man, you can get you some grails, man. Don't be scared of it. Just don't be scared of it at all. This is what I got my girl. I did a video on these already. Okay. And I live in a house, so I don't have uh, apartment neighbors or something like that. I know some of y'all may be skeptical about that. That's on you. 
Um, these is a, I got these for eight dollars and twenty five cent plus nine forty five shipping. Okay, so it was probably like twenty one, twenty two dollars after everything was said and done. And these are for my girl. So. If you are a size 10 in women's, you can wear an 8.5 or a size 9. You see what I'm saying? And a size 8 would be a little bit too snug. What I did for her is I took these laces out and the laces, that the, these right here, the laces that you see on this shoe, I'm going to be putting them on the uh, Retro Low IE Jordan 11. You see what I'm saying? To so make that shoe make sense. <clears throat> And I put white laces in hers. Uh, fat laces, I believe. Yeah, I think I did. So, what else? You see me with these. Just look how much I paid for these, though. That's all I'm saying. It's payment. Who you know getting J's that are real for 15 bucks? 99 cent. 12 bucks in translation when it's all said and done. 12 bucks, 15 bucks. So this one was $25.50. Add to tax, it'll probably like $27 to get it home. I got the scuff out. Cleaned the shoe up a little bit. Got it looking very, very pristine and I actually like I did a own feet of it too so uh, this was one that I was supposed to get and it didn't go through here's another one that I got 22 bucks so this one was like 26 after the whole deal was done. Okay, initially broke the deal down to $10. Got $12 shipping on top of that. Now on this one, I cleaned up the shoe again. Very, very, very factory fresh. Got the creases out the front of the shoe. And they look really, really good. Size 15. So I had bagged uh, Jordan 2009, but the deal didn't go through at the end of the day. Neither did this one. But the shoes that started it off was the Jordan <laughs> shoe lot down here. Now, they got a royal pair. Those are the Jordan Prime 5s. The shoe that's next to it, those are the Jordan Dub Zeros. Okay, now for two of those shoes, I paid fifty-eight eighty-five, free shipping. Okay, the tax made it sixty-one bucks, <laughs> so that's thirty dollars per shoe, I guess you could say. And all of my shoes are real. I have not had any problems. I checked. I've I've, I've studied stuff. And this is the best thing to go by is that tag situation I showed you earlier. If you can get the code that the shoe has, it tells you the colorway, the release date. It shows you every single thing that's supposed to be on the shoe. And if it's not on there, do not buy it. Point blank at a period. You cannot go wrong that way. All shoes have a tag or they're supposed to have a tag. We are not talking about that crap that comes off that you that you walk on we're not talking about that we're talking about that tag inside the shoe it tells everything about the shoe if you can get that and you can get a seller to tell you that number you can go look it up then there's no reason that these shoes should be fake unless they're sending it to you after the fact you can't help that part but everything else if it's fucked up in the damn picture it's fucked up when it don't get to you you gotta know that 
So be careful. Be patient. Allow yourself time to look at the pictures yourself and study the pictures and see if the shoe is really worth your bid. Just don't go up there bidding because you might bid <laughs> on that first picture. And by the time you get to that fourth picture, you realize it doesn't even have a hole inside. It's got a hole in the bitch or something. You know what I'm saying? But I was able to fix a shoe that has a hole, that had a hole in it. I bought it that way. The seller didn't know what I was doing. I negotiated him down from $30 to $10. And he got it shipped out to me. It probably cost me 20 bucks. I used some um, shoe goop. And I put that shoe together with my bare hands and, and fixed the hole that was in it. You can't even tell it had a hole. So you just got to know what you're capable of. You just got to know that this stuff is out here and you can get it. Now, do you want it bad enough? Go search for it. It's your homeboy, Mac 357 Guns. How to get Jordans for the low on eBay. Yeah, you can do it. I've done it. Because I'd be damned if I pay $100, $200 for some shoes. No. And I still won't. I'm, st I'm sticking to my guns. Get it? One. Just need to exhale.